So the 9-11 hijackers somehow get a plea deal uh, 20-something years later. I don't know what that actually means. This article says that th this avoided a very complicated death penalty for Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. What is complicated about it? Yeah, I mean, and you're well, in I, Gitmo I, I, for 20 <laughs> years. Does death seem that complicated at that point? Has he not given us the information? Kill him now. Yeah, I mean, and plus, again, Mossad. Well, <laughs> no. Welcome to Deep Water. Where are you going right now? So they crank the 5G up, and then we just all get shaken and baking microwave. <laughs> I love it. I didn't say that, you absolute moron. <laughs> there is no dinosaurs. Those are Nephilim giants from the Bible. And Lucifer is in the Vatican? Yes. Oh, okay, got it. I think space is probably like just a giant liquid. Yeah. Build it up, seal the well. When it's about to collapse, release the gaze. Are you going to get the jab? Never. Conspiracy Social Club, aka Deep Waters. Fine. So are we now okay, starting, we're Ryan? Now starting. Ryan, we're now starting. Ryan, is there a checklist you should Ryan, check? Are you on heroin right I now? Dude, stop banging zines, dude. <laughs> this guy's out here banging zines, sucking D's for zines. <laughs> you still look so scared right now. Yeah, what is, what going, is on? going on? Ryan, figure it out. Stop being a man, baby, and figure it out. Can you use your words? What's going on? Are we okay? D Ryan, I knew something was up when you didn't comb your hair today. I know. That's why I knew something was up. Like, you just showed up. I'm you disheveled. Didn't, what, did you get up late and you didn't even have time to, 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 to put your hair together? Ryan, what is going on with the computers? Is everything yeah, okay? Is going Everything, on? Everything's good with the computer. I'm just, I'm more, I'm disturbed. How did that not start recording? It's okay. Well, it's probably because right. you didn't hit record. I, I it's a simple it machine. Off. Listen, you've got big, big dates coming up. Okay, we got to go to the big, big date. Okay, there we go. All right. This, I mean, dude, when does this come out? Sunday. Ah, uh, it's already passed. Okay. Uh, Hollywood, California. Big comedy chaos, dude. Big. And you know Hollywood. It's Tinseltown. It's Two Sunset shows. Strip. One show is at 8. Other show is at uh, 1030. We just had a Todd Berry to the first show. And the second show has got to line up a murder. And then at the end of the night, uh, at the end of the week, I'm at, uh, at the month, excuse me, uh, I'm at Jade on the Water in Long Beach. Very excited about that. Yeah. You want to do a spot? You want to go down to Long Beach and gig? You're in. Okay, perfect. More dates to come, hopefully. I don't know, dude. I'm also like. Happy about not touring, but then I love touring, so it's like I'm fine with either way. The people want your words. Listen, there's a, uh, a serial home invader in Silver Lake right now. Oh, oh, dude, are you just practicing? What do you mean? Are you just uh, you live in Silver Lake, right? Yeah. Are you just working that bag, waiting for the day that you got get to practice this stuff? No, I I don't want to uh, do hand to hand combat with a home invader. I want to, you know, it's just so crazy that it, California makes it tricky at all to slay somebody who's breaking into yeah your if house. you break into my house f your laws dog f your laws f your laws what daddy the, bang bang pow what are these laws i mean it's unbelievable that's why i just i want to move to virginia or the carolinas where I dude can i'm have not land against it bro let's just, go let's you know. go can we move just outside of austin yeah where we're not in austin God. we're outside we have our own land we're we're just working the fields. Fuck, you can't shoot somebody in the back, but they just came in and sexually assaulted my cat, my wife, and myself. Okay. I don't care if he's I, running I, I away. I was going to look the other way with him. the cat. Your wife, I won't take it. Yeah, I won't have it. I won't know? have it's it. It's just ridiculous. So It is ridiculous. But also, it's got me... The, the, the reason why they're hitting Silver Lake is because if somebody has a Black Trans Lives Matter flyer yeah. in their window, they probably don't have a weapon. Wow. <laughs> That is so true. <laughs> yeah. That is so true. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And wow. I don't have that sign, but I'm in the zip code of many of those signs. What you need to do is put up a thing goes, I got a gun, F around and find out. <laughs> right, right, right. Right? Yeah. Well, it's it's the... the you should also have a uh, something in your window that points your neighbor going, this guy supports black trans. <laughs> right, right, right. Break right. into that one. Does not have a weapon, wink emoji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I my thing is like the the progressivism of so it's called it 
I suffer from progressive paranoia. Yeah. Where, okay, so I'm leaving the house the other day. We've got some uh, Latinx, uh, Hispanic uh, gentlemen <laughs> working on the house. And they're all outside painting the railing. And I leave. And because of this home invader that's coming around, uh, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, sexually assaulting cats and whatnot. I, <laughs> what? I lock the doors. But I lock them right in front of the Hispanic guys, and they're looking at me. So I don't want to. I don't want them to think that I'm locking the door because I don't trust them. I trust them, kind of. But I lock the door, and I go, "Hold on, why do you trust them? Well, because they're ethnic. No, no, no. They. That's just, the most. Me and no, no, the, no, no, the no, whitest no. guy I, in the room think you're. No, hang on. I I trust them because they've been in and out of the house for a couple of days. I don't want to live in fear of people who are doing good things. So I trust them, but I lock the door in front of them, and I don't want them to think that I'm locking the door because of them. So I go, there's a home invader around here. (laughs) And they don't speak English. So they just, they were just like, okay. And it was a really painfully awkward experience but that's progressive paranoia i, mean, I would do this i would out. go i'd lock the door look him in the eye and go <laughs> trust nobody and walk <laughs> off that's what i would do that's what i would do i go i don't trust you i don't trust nobody i don't trust the people next door yeah dude they, I, i'm telling you bro i'm already casing out my neighborhood for when society crumbles i'm already going who's getting jacked <laughs> who's joining the posse yeah i'm not even Brown, dude. And then that's the age of moral, what is it called? Moral de- demor- demoralization. No, I don't think it's demoralization at all. Yeah. I- I'm just, yeah, it is actually yeah, demoralization. Yeah, it's totally demoralization. <laughs> totally right. You're totally okay. right. Okay, so totally uh, right. speaking of demoralization, and that's not a good segue, but Trump just spoke at a convention of um, black journalists. Yes. Um, so a couple clips here. Let's just start with the the line of of questioning that got him to a uh, pretty pretty cheesed off state. Um, can you roll this? Ryan, turn it up. <laughs> I'm trying. This, Ryan. this has the this has the uh, yeah. the touch screen. It's got on. the touch screen, so Ryan's a little thrown off. It's a new computer. Ryan is on Ryan. Why do you look like the scene in Idiocracy where they're trying to put the square pegs in round holes right now? Ryan, what? he can send us all the tweets in the world from Blacks. There you go, L's, dude. There you go. Keep yeah, going. Keep go. going. Uh, all right, let's bam. hope. Let's hope we don't get. All right. I want to start by addressing the elephant in the room, sir. A lot of people did not think. It was appropriate for you to be here today. You have pushed false claims about some of your rivals, from Nikki Haley to former President Barack Obama, saying that they were not born in the United States, which is not true. You have told four congresswomen of color who were American citizens to go back to where they came from. Uh, you have used words like animal and rabbit to stop. describe black <laughs> stop. attorneys. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we can be done with this clip this, for the next one. <laughs> this is like Andrew Prime Andrew Dice Clay getting heckled by a fat chick in the crowd and he's about to tee off. Yeah. You got uh, just like first of all, you know, listen to me. And Most let's be of what big. she's saying isn't even true. Well, it's kind of all true, but No, it's not. Well, it is. I mean, uh, it's, it's just not, dude. Yeah, it kind of is. It's though. like it's like, dude, this guy just believes Five everything points. he's told about about Barack Obama. There's been no bigger lie than Barack Obama. From t- start to finish, the the narrative is complete and utter can bullshit. You, can you, if, no, if, dude, if we're going to be in there saying, hang on, that hang on, if we're going to be incendiary, can you use his given name by you, which is Black Bush? <laughs> okay, can you? What the, what the fuck, Ryan? Can you so, get the next clip ready? What? So what? We didn't comment on this. No, no, no. Dude. We're we're getting to his dice clay uh, <laughs> freak out. Well, it's not a freak out. He was he was rather. But composed. but my whole point is this: like she has even talked about how she's Indian. Like nothing he's saying is wrong. This woman looks stupid, and you're just, and the point is this: is like it's not even about being right and wrong. It's about giving people who are looking for a reason not to like Trump. And I'm fine with if he don't like Trump. Yeah. But what this woman's doing is you have an opportunity to have a real discussion, and instead you make it attack journalism, and you just completely and utterly. Shit, in my opinion, looks stupid. Well, there was uh, a lot of pushback uh, against this body having Trump come to speak. Uh, why? So. Why? Like, like, dude, would would we be like, hey, Trump, you can't come on the show? 
on on, on, on AK Deep Waters. You just can't do it. No, I, I would. I would. Uh, we would love to have. We'd have. I'd have Biden on, and I would just poke his mask the whole time, <laughs> dude. I'd honestly, like, yeah, I think the official real? stance of this show is that all presidents are welcome. Oh, listen, all presidents. Even Jimmy Carter in hospice could come in right now. I'd love to talk to Jimmy in hospice. It would be a... Who wins the debate right now? Current Joe Biden or hospice Jimmy Carter? Joe Biden. But can you imagine how sad that podcast would be? (laughs) Jimmy Carter wheeled in in a bed with so many different buttons and us just asking him questions. It would be such a bad, sad podcast. God damn. Looks like Emperor Palpatine without any of the vitality. He's Go dying. on, play this crap clip we're about to watch. Yeah, can you full screen it? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner. <laughs> yeah. First question. You don't even say, hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible Fake network. news. I have been the best president for the black population since abraham lincoln better that's than, my answer i'm the dude always... stop stop okay we haven't gotten to the best no, part no, yet no. tell me where he's wrong right there tell me where he's wrong well it's a very odd subjective metric yeah to... okay but who do you think did better i'm not saying they did well i'm saying who do you think did better well, LBJ signed this. Bullshit, dude. LBJ? Dude. Okay, get Sam, the beep ready Sam, going. Hang on, hang dude, on. Dude, he literally said the N word about black people. Uh, uh, yeah. What are you talking sure, about? Sure, sure. LBJ, the guy sure. who assassinated JFK? Yeah. Like, dude, you're well, there, nuts. Well, there were a lot of people that assassinated yeah, JFK. Yeah, they're called Mossad. Okay, yeah. well, no, they're not yes, called Mossad. Yes, they are. Literally Mossad. We, we have to get out of this binary world that you exist in and, and also just mention that there's something called the burden of proof. So if you want to prove that Trump is the best candidate no, no, for no, black no, no, people. No, 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 you then, need to prove no, no, that no, he's this, not. This is because you're saying the statement is fake. No, no, no. You need to prove I, that he's I'm not telling. Saying, not me. I'm saying that it's a ridiculous uh, trophy to award no, 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 dude, yourself dude, with. You are the prosecution. I am the defense. Okay. I'm saying I agree with him. You're saying he's wrong. Okay. It's the burden is uh, on you I just, to prove he's not. You the, shut up for okay, a second. That's what Jesus I Christ. <laughs> I put forth uh, an uh, example of somebody who might be better. I think this award is silly. I don't think it exists. But if we're in this fantasy land. By the way, I would love to be at the who's the best president for the blacks awards. Yeah. I mean, what that award ceremony is ridiculous. But do you think there'll I, be Megan the Stalin twerking at I it? I say LBJ was a better president for black people. You say you're an idiot. The Jews <laughs> killed Kennedy with LBJ. I said Mossad. Got it. So- Okay, let's put it back to you. Is Trump, why do you think Trump, Sam Tripoli, is the best president for black people? Uh, he did prison reform for them. Okay. 100%. Uh, he put money in their pocket. They, I, I, I How did watched, he do that? I've been watching black people taking W's on Twitter, okay? And they're all talking about all the money they're making dude, with Trump, Ry- dog. Ryan, so, Ryan one goes, of my favorite uh, Twitter dude, account. have you seen this Twitter account, Blacks Taking L's? It's the most <laughs> racist thing I've ever seen. It's like, then he sends me the Twitter, which I asked for because I wanted to see it. And it's a meme of a black woman saying, I'm so much prettier than you to a white girl. And then the white girl just blows her weave off and reveals her to be this uh, awful it's it, twitter is revolting <laughs> it is revolting but uh I'm okay so you. so trump gave black people money is that yeah, what you said yeah yeah okay. but, but the burden is on you to say that that he's not and i uh, definitely not barack <laughs> obama did jack shit yeah they'll all tell you that he did nothing for him yeah Nothing. Well, uh, and LBJ basically brought in the welfare state, which crippled the black community. Yeah. So, now, unintended yeah. consequences or motive, uh, motivated what? consequences. Okay. So, listen, this guy, this this guy, neighbors with black trans lives matter people. Okay? How you doing, neighbor? <laughs> so, so they had a rule. It, it, with the welfare system, that if there was any sign that a dad lived there, you couldn't get welfare, and you're you think that was meant to help? Well, I mean, encourage black families. You know, you can't have people double dipping. I mean, uh, it's recently been revealed that uh, Rosa Parks' uh, husband had a car, <laughs> um, and 
<laughs> you know, that's the kind of... <laughs> Who's more racist? Society or Rosa Parks' husband that will let her ride the Rosa car? Rosa Parks' husband was at least, at the very least, inconsiderate or possibly had a different route. But what I'm saying is you, you can't have people double dipping. So, so unintended consequences, yes, it does create a welfare state. Something Thank like uh, Clinton. Thank so you. Clinton... Um, well, that's not a... <laughs> Just... A winning. Why are you ringing the bell? I said it was an unintended consequence that caused the welfare state. Anyways, <laughs> Clinton, uh, uh, another example of an unintended consequence. Clinton uh, lowers um, barriers of entry for the black community to get into home ownership. Right. Uh, bef- uh, and then, you know, a couple years later, we've got Nina loans going out to people who can't afford the houses and the banks who love that kind of thing because they can bet against and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, and then yeah. we go to a 2007, 2008 financial collapse. So there are unintended consequences. Oh, so of you don't think things. that maybe, maybe that was done on purpose? Dylan? I don't because No, I don't Dylan, think it was done we've on We've never purpose. seen banks do any of that, right? Where they give you a loan knowing you can't pay it back oh, sorry, sorry, with uh, hoping to sorry. take back. So, so oh, Dylan's uh, telling you right now no. that there is not a predatorial system, which is I give you fake money for a real asset. You forfeit the fake money so I get back a real asset. That doesn't even happen everywhere, get, anywhere uh, we, in, in the international monetary system. We've not where they go into you to pick up a gavel, uh, really ever, but if, if you could... Um, do you think that Sam misunderstood or is, uh, maliciously, uh, misconstruing what I'm saying? Hey, can you, is he misconstruing what I'm saying? No, Ryan, let me state, Ryan, I need to state what I think he said. Okay, fair. What I think he said is that they create a system that allows unqualified people to qualify for a loan and they defaulted on the loan. And what I'm telling you is there's a history of that where bankers give loans to people with conditions they know they cannot fulfill so they take back real assets. Yeah, but I don't think that Clinton did that in the 90s or whenever he did oh. so that in 2008 we would have a financial collapse. Whoa. Okay, okay. okay. Why, why, why? This is, this is so R-worded right now. No, this no, whole no, conversation no, it's, no, is just like, it's, it's absolutely it's, You're ridiculous. R-word because, again, your progressive ass has this kind of vision of the Clintons. They were just trying their hardest. No, I hate the Clintons. Dude, We, I, I got to read more on this, but we got to do uh, at least a segment on this guy, Walter Riston. Yeah. Uh, he became the, the president or CEO of Citibank. This guy, dude, <laughs> so much shady stuff. He completely... Uh, like revolutionized the way that loans worked. He was working for a shipping magnate, and this guy was like, "I I need a loan for this new ship that I want to get." And Riston was like, "Why don't we structure the loan based off of what the ship could make, as opposed to what the ship costs?" So that just balloons this loan structuring to oh, really? fantasy land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was just an awful guy, but we'll do more on him. Um, so the Sheikh Mohammed got a... And, well, and you know that the Citibank is owned by basically the House of Saad, right? I, I didn't. I there didn't, you go. But yeah, And no, they basically picked all of Barack Obama's cabinet. That makes sense because, you know, Dodd-Frank was a joke. Um, okay, so... The last thing of this this Trump stuff is that... Do we get to see any of it? Well, can you end that clip? Sorry, Rye. What do you mean, end it? Uh, yeah, end was not the right word. But um, <laughs> he, he just goes, um, she was Indian and she became black. Yeah, he's totally right. He's not right, though, because she went to Howard University. Yeah. She's Indian. She ran off being Indian forever. Do Indian people go to Howard University? I think there's a Howard University had a white quarterback for their football team. And that is, if that's true, that is shameful from Howard <laughs> University. Why? And He's you, a minority you there. You cannot let that happen. <laughs> Dude, they want to win games. You can't. They want to win. You, okay. Shame on you, Howard. Do you think um, that um do you think that Howard having a white quarterback made it up on uh black people taking L's? You think probably. it made it up that, that, well, that, prob- that probably. Yeah, a hundred percent. So, okay, uh, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed has a plea agreement. 
Bro, this is the craziest story. So the 9-11 hijackers somehow get a plea deal uh, 20-something years later. I don't know what that actually means. This article says that th this avoided a very complicated death penalty for Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. What is complicated about it? Yeah, I mean, and you're well, in I, Gitmo I, for 20 <laughs> years. Does death seem that complicated at that point? Has he not given us the information? Kill him now. Yeah, I mean, and plus, again, Mossad. Well, <laughs> no. Not at all. In no way, shape, or form. But, um... Get yeah, like, this just basically is get like... In the comments, let us know who you think planned 9-11. Yeah, please do! <laughs> By the way, please go 9-11... Who did it? We mm -hmm. all know who it did. Who did, it was part of the people. Yeah, and you can just say d don't don't get uh, flowery with the anti-Semitism. Just say the J's. No, if, no, if no! Just it. say the M's. <laughs> yeah. The M's. Uh, okay, so and the CIA. So, what do you think of this plea deal? Well, I love that they won't tell you what the plea deal was, mm -hmm. which is again just like I I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. Sometimes I even wonder if these guys. These high, high impact prisoners are even in these prisons. Where do you think they are? In some four seasons and Ch in, in chilling Abu somewhere Dhabi? else? Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me, dude. I mean, dude, you, go back to that guy's picture. Can you find that guy? Chalik Muhammad, whatever his name is. Dude, if you shave his back and shave his head, are you going to know it's him? Because you're looking for furry shoulders at that point, and there's no furry shoulders. Like, that can't be him. The guy has a force on it. Look at that. Look at that Ron Jeremy-looking motherfucker right there, right? There you shaved out his back and his neck area. There is Do you know that's him? a laser technician in Beverly Hills in the world that could help that. <laughs> Bro, that guy's your Uber driver when you get into New York City. How do you not know? You have a, you put him on some Ozempic, dude. The guy loses two hundred pounds. Totally different dude. Yeah, and he and and the thing with giving Khalid Sheikh Mohammed Ozempic is that his ass already is that kind of triangular dead shape. So Ozempic won't do anything to that either. He won't lose any of his neck. Yeah. Come on, if you give him Ozempic, he gets trans face. Totally different dude. Dude, he looks like. He, oh look! look Whoa, what is this article? Ozempic. This is about him getting the COVID vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> when psyops clash. Dude, he looks. Um, now, listen, I don't think any um, allowances should be afforded this man. Um, but the fact that this picture is like the main picture going around. I mean, <laughs> he, like he, what happened here? By the way, can we go back to that? What happened to his shirt? Uh, yeah, I don't think. Like, he, why is your shirt so stretched? I don't think he drinks <laughs> like, a what lot. What are you in a like? What is that? That looks like he had a, just a crazy night with walnuts <laughs> or something, and then had a bad night of sleep. Woke up and they just snapped a picture of him, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dates, walnuts, it, tea. It and looks just, like he's a Jew that just ate too much kimchi, and his butthole isn't doing well. Honestly, that's I could turn into that. I could turn into <laughs> Khalid Sheikh Mohammed if I'm not careful. <laughs> <laughs> very, very careful. You already got the mustache. Yeah. All is... you got to do is get your beard to reach your shoulder hair, yeah. and you could be. <laughs> I can do that 100%, no problem. I really have to take consideration because I had never seen, like, the future highway Wait, to go that Go back to look. that picture you just had up. Go back. <laughs> Does that look like every single, like, mall picture of like look does that look like almost like a christmas car is that <laughs> yeah thinking of you? it's it's very very close to like a, a cheruby kind of christmas card but <laughs> but that man's a a uh terrorist <laughs> look at that guy dude who is that guy right i think that's him no no that can't be the same guy no, that's not the lead Sheikh Muhammad the wow the man dirt is old it's kind of like when you see those videos of a guy who gets married to a woman and then like five years later she's had three kids and she's like 200 pounds more heavier that's that that's before and after dude no it should be the before is that after is it ozempic dude. you are disgusting today <laughs> that's a fucking filthy disgusting thing to say uh, but you know what that picture is? That's not a crazy walnut night. That's actually him in Guantanamo 
they uh, jar headed off his beard and then beat the shit out of him and then took a photo of him. Uh, <laughs> or it could be that. America. It could be one of those. Fuck it yeah. It could either be Walnut Night or he just got beat the shit out of his Guantanamo. Crazy Walnut Night. <laughs> it could go either um, way. Okay, so the next tab, I think, is just some good old-fashioned predictive programming stuff. I wanted to stay on 9-11. Um, so can you roll this and then we'll just hear Sam, uh, scream about it. What is this? You'll see. Can you center it, right? Whoa. This is a crazy one. What was that? Ghostbusters. Okay, so safe to say there was a lot of predictive yeah, programming yeah, in cartoons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I mean, the greatest one, the greatest predictive programming is Back to the Future. It's really crazy. And um, it's not, but, it's not though. We, we kind of broke the whole thing down. But, I mean, this is the rules of the occult. They have to show you. Now, I don't necessarily believe that every one of these okay. is in on something. Thank God. But, you know, we do know the Simpsons. He was on uh, Epstein's uh, uh, flights. Who? Uh, the guy who invented Goring. What's his name? Who invented Matt Simpsons? Matt Goring? Yeah. Matt Goring. They, you know what's really crazy? Is they used to That's talk. allegedly, and, uh, and I don't. No, it's I not allegedly. It happened. I don't think that up. happened. Matt, I think you're a comedic genius. Is Matt even with us anymore? I hey, thought Matt, he passed. Thank you for. Thank you for, I mean, really everything that you've done. Well, I hold mean, on. Now, you're thanking him for the last 10 seasons of Simpsons, which pretty much went off the rails. Hey, Matt, Let's just say the first 15 I, seasons. I'm, think, I'm thanking you for all of it. Okay, that's just ridiculous. Didn't Seth MacFarlane, wasn't he one of the guys that almost was on the plane? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this guy wants to believe that. That just luckily happened. He just, oh, my God. He's doing his kid voice. He just got, he, he, him and Mark Wahlberg got together like, let's not get on his flight. High five. Yeah. And then they both went on to become billionaires. Anyways. Yeah. Ladies and germs, germs and ladies. Today is brought to you by Magic Mind. Magic Mind. Mind. Ba, 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 ba. Magic Mind. Ba, ba, ba. performance shot I of love this the green gods. Stuff. It's the nectar of the gods. Makes me feel so good. Now, as you can tell, Magic Mind not only calms you, makes you Bro, you just slammed that. Pain, makes you good Such at singing. Such an alpha. Makes you really good at singing. It makes you really good at lots of different things. Flight. Yeah. Impregnating women. Yep. I'm really on a breeding spree right now. Do you want to breed? Then go to magicmind.com slash deep waters. <laughs> uh, go down to the, the URL so I can make sure that I got that right. I don't know how. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. That's it. That's the right link, a.k.a. Yeah. Deep Waters. Let's go. You No, that's not right. Go to magicmind.com slash deep waters. Okay? A, yes. Deep, the link deep, is right here. Just go link, to this just link. Just hit the link. And and and, what, do, and 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 it's in the show description, too. So click the link. Go to get the checkout. Listen, guys. And get the, th the stuff, okay? And then use promo code deep waters. Okay. Don't get it, dude. You're going to get 48% off your first 48%? subscription. 48%? Or 20% off a one-time buy. This Bang. stuff is an unbelievable Fire, elixir. Bro. It's got um, it's got adaptogens. Yeah, I call it Mother Nature's legal crank. And and every time we do these reads, Sam comes up with a ringing endorsement that I cannot top. Yeah, okay? there we go, if bro. If you want Mother Nature's, what <laughs> is it called? Legal crank. Legal crank. Go to magicmind.com slash deepwaters. Use promo code deepwaters. You'll get 48% off your first subscription, 20% off a one-time purchase. Help us love you. Love us. Love yourself with listen, Magic Mind. Listen, I make better love on this. 
Anyways. I mean, dude, it's like. My- it's so crazy, right, Dylan, that the two guys decide not to get on the flight. Both went on to have humongous movie careers, uh, breaking into all these other genres and mm. businesses. I mean, one dude started a burger joint okay yeah. i mean come on dude yeah, yeah, yeah. come on uh, and mark Wahlberg needs and, 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 and seth mcfarland who- i mean i can't talk today i can't talk today i mean you're 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 on heroin you're on crack and here i am on my creamy what are you fills. just right porridge yeah i'm just right white porridge catch this by the way yeah is that is that the colors of israel <laughs> it is. oh great song. yeah uh shh Shocking! Hey, real quick, stay, uh, on since we're on the subject of Israel, what is? Can you play defense for all of the sodomy? Can you get into that? Can I you don't beep know. That, beep that. I don't know. You don't need to bleep sodomy because, contrary to what biblical maniac over here thinks, that's actually not a sinful word or anything like that. Well, it's YouTube. You I, don't know what the I, sassy I don't, AI. Thinks. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, you know what we're talking about. No, you got to know what we're talking. Do you know what I'm? T- I know. What you're okay, talking if Ryan about. knows what we're talking about, okay, you know what we're talking about. Hey, I'll say it again. I, I Come don't on, know what we're talking about. You get your Jew news <laughs> email every day with the latest in the Jew news. I did. I read it this morning, but they didn't have anything in there about sodomy. <laughs> about about the prisoners. Um, are in are in the pri- about the uh, the the IDF. Doing uh, not acceptable things. Do you want to not talk about it because you're concerned about YouTube? Or are you being coy on purpose? What's well, I don't want to say the word that will trigger. But uh, here okay. it is, yeah. Where they're protesting that they, they, they arrested them. Have you ever seen any country protest for the right to R? Israelis are protesting to allow Israeli soldiers to R Palestinian women, children, and men who is detained in Israeli prisons. So this is a perfect example of um, the age of stupidity that we're living in. I don't know how you use this as Exhibit A to prove your Uh, That isn't Exhibit A. That's the first thing he pulled up. Okay. Okay. And then tweeted. Now here's this. This is from... uh, this is here we go. I'm not saying that this isn't true. I'm just saying you that literally a, just said that's not like true. That is you literally just insane. said it's not it's true. It's just a, a video of people okay, protesting. Okay, read the Times of and Israel. then you go. These people are protesting for the Israeli soldiers to wait Palestinian, wait Palestinian <laughs> women. <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah, honestly, if we're gonna say the R word, we Whip. should say it with a list. Yeah. <laughs> The IDF Whip. are waping uh, Palestinian <laughs> women. Uh, okay, so uh, the investigation into the soldiers was launched after a detained terrorist suspect was brought from the base to a hospital with signs of serious abuse, including to his anus. That's not funny. He was arrested by the IDF in the Gaza Strip several weeks ago. The right wing. Dude, the end of this is the craziest line is you will ever read. The right wing. Honeo Legal Aid Organization, which is representing four of the reservist soldiers, claimed on Monday that its clients acted in self-defense in the incident. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you just hear that? I mean, I think, like, Boss Rutten has a video of uh, if somebody's trying to attack you in a bar or something, you wipe them. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like a pretty customary self defense. Hi, I'm Bass Rudin, and welpo- welcome to bar fighting and wiping. That's how we go. Yeah. Okay, I'm fighting. Here's the scenario. He comes at me. I fight him. I hit him. Then what? Wiping them. That's right. What that's you, correct. What you want to do is palm strike, then wipe. <laughs> wipe him. That's what we're going to do. Dude, Boss had the most violent palms. Yeah. Oh, dude. And, dude, the worst part is he's doing it in those. Tiny shorts, oh, yeah. Tiny and then he's just shorts. he's palming you and then wiping you. <laughs> Imagine if you rubbed a, a genie bottle and that genie popped out, boss. Yeah, boss. Yeah, with his palms and wiping. Well, that's how I want my genies to look. I mean, boss does look like a gin. He really does. <laughs> if he had a smoky tail, yeah, maybe he was a little blue. Yeah. yeah, and his rock hard nipples, bro. Uh, okay, so what is the point of this? Uh, yeah, the IDF soldiers are uh, okay. 
I just wanted to get your. I just wanted to get the tribe. We, we have an it. we have an issue of small sample size um, <laughs> on this podcast. The last two issues specifically, and really just the entirety of the show, is one giant. That's why it's popular, right? Yeah. So we take tiny things and blow them up. Exactly. So uh, first off, Mark Wahlberg and Seth MacFarlane chose not to go on the flights, and now they're because billionaires. they were told not to get the right. Flights. Go on. What happened to all the other people who didn't make those flights? That's a are, dark discussion. Are they, now. Really are they billionaires? I, I are don't the want, people? You that, never know, dude. You never know. Or they could be like, bye bye. Well, you would know if they were all billionaires, right? I would know if a lot of them are billionaires. Yeah, but I you mean, don't. Like, here's the whole thing. We there is like a lot of talk that a lot of the hijackers were still alive in the Middle East. It's almost like Seth MacFarlane and Mark Wahlberg were the only two people that had an established career that could launch them to becoming billionaires. But you guys remember when Seth MacFarlane's show got canceled? Then suddenly it was brought back? Well, because... Oh, my God, the people have spoken! The people did speak because the, the oh, yeah. pastel-colored okay. four-season set of Family Guy DVDs are uh, just... It, it, it's uh. it's iconographic. Th those are so important to millennial <laughs> youths. I mean, I can't. I, those DVDs. Are you millennial youth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those DVDs didn't work after a while. I watched them so much. I mean, my goodness. But okay, so let's go to this small sample size problem. Uh, a couple IDF soldiers wape someone in self defense, and now are we we're getting dinged on this. No, I don't think so. And then um, all IDF soldiers are wapists. It's ridiculous. One, one equals all. No, that's not a, any kind of equation that well, exists. Well, let's naturally get into this. Let's just say it's the four of them. Okay, let's just say that it's the four of them. What about everybody protesting that they should be released? Well, they they weren't protesting. Yeah, they literally. Are buddy, you, you're just showing well, up to no, this no, no, thing. No, no, no. I've been investigating. Uh, buddy, they literally are protesting hey, hey, to the point now, guys. These soldiers have been released. Hey, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Hey, pal. Yeah. If that Twitter video is the only evidence you have of that, then it's just not going to be enough for me, pal. Can I ask you something? For me, Do pal. you think it's not that's be the only me, evidence buddy. I have? Well, it's, the only, it's the only evidence I've seen. Okay, well, because that's the first thing young Ryan pulled up. Okay, well, young Ryan, that was a bad piece of no, evidence. No, that wasn't. That's a great launching no, point, it Ryan. Wasn't. You did great. It was a bunch of people rioting outside Ryan, of a building. Ryan, in the divorce, I'm going to get you, and you're going to come live with Dad, and you don't have to worry about Mom, okay? I'm Dad. <laughs> I'm Dad. I'm, I'm the dad. dad. Vote right now. Who's dad? Vote right now in this show. Vote who's dad. Who is Ryan's dad? Who's Ryan's mom on this show right now? Go. For me or the co I, no. comments? I'm oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Who's dad? Who's mom? Yeah. Yeah. On the Let show. Us know. For sure. Let us know. Let us in know. In the comments. Let yeah. us know. For sure. <laughs> For sure. You are so mom. I'm dad. As you talk to ethnic people to make sure they're not offended. Who's <clears> that? Home invasion around here. <laughs> Come on. Do you guys want some cookies? Some milk? All right. So the next one we said last week to send me um, some stories. Yeah. And the fans came out uh, in droves. You guys are amazing. Um, follow me at Dylan Pete Wren. And keep DMing me because these are this is a fun way to get ready for the show. Um, Rye, can you pull up? I have a minute. By the way, the show is doing great. Oh, my gosh. 177 on comedy. Dude. People have no clue how hard that is. Yeah. Uh, you sent me that Patrick Bet David thing on podcast. Yeah. Which I was like, I don't know why you're sending this because it has nothing to do with conspiracies. And it, it, but in terms of the numbers, yeah. it's kind of amazing. It's amazing. And if you like, you break it down, like, so like what they say, 500 listeners or 500 million listeners. So essentially what they said was there are like 5 million podcasts, 4,999,000 are vying for 12% of the audience where the uh, the top 100 or whatever have 82%. So don't do a don't start a podcast. I, I tell everybody that uh, I say me, it's uh, just don't. I, I think I think you can, I think you can get it going if you're going to go into this. This is very hard to start. The fact that this even is doing well is yeah. insane. Yeah, it's just you just got if you want to start a podcast, just do it for you. you it's you, you're going to be shouting. But into the, the point void for is, a long it's time. like when you look at it, thirty percent of the listenership 
goes to the top three or four podcasts. They eat up the ch- the most of it. Yeah, it's all call her daddy. It's call it, and by the way, call her daddy. Does anyone listen to that? Because I am blown away. Like you want to talk about a conspiracy? How is Cole Sprouse smoking a Marlboro Light? The biggest podcast in the way, and I know that that's not only what it is, but these conversations. I I, I mean, it's a real it's a real. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, go. Can you talk for a second while I try to find? Well, this it's word? very interesting. They were breaking down like the top six podcasts in the world or on Spotify at one time, and it was like three of them were obviously guys, and three of them were obviously girls, and they were like Tucker, Joe, Joe Rogan, and uh, Danny Bajani or whatever his name is, and then the the, the women's were like, "Call me Daddy." Whore Patrol, like, s- s- selling ass, you know, whatever. Like, they were just all, like, it was, like, so insane. Yeah, and Selling Ass is the Selling Sunset recap podcast, and it's all the ladies from Selling Sunset, and they just talk about selling real estate, but it's called Selling Ass. Uh, but, but, yeah, it's is, quite an indictment is the word I was looking interesting. for. It's fucking What indictment. men listen to and what women listen to. Yeah, we're different. Um, okay, we're so. Different. Can you but pull up? Real quick, final thing. The, the whole notion that people are like, oh, Tucker now has surpassed Joe Rogan as the most popular podcast. Get real. What they don't even understand is like it. what 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 comes into the, the calculation of that is new subscribers. Joe Rogan has been around since podcasted. So he's like got all the subscribers. Tucker's bringing in new subscribers all the time. Yeah, hammering zines. Yeah, hammering zines, Sucking dude. down zines. You guys, that, that's your brethren. That's your tribe right there. Yeah, dude. I wage war against you guys. Really? Oh, dude, well, I mean, I just died. Dude, we're just, I almost died. We're, we're, we're just sucking down nootropics and trying to be the best we can be. <laughs> okay. Um, but anyways, can you go to the note I have minimized? Because I want to give credit to the folks that... Uh, sent this along. So it should be all the way over to the right. No, by the trash can. By the trash can. Dude, this is great. I love this. Like, Uh, let's watch Ryan panic as he tries to figure out what what Dylan wants. The Marconi thing. Who sent in the Marconi thing? Mike Geary. Geary. Mike Mike Geary. Geary. Thanks so much for sending that in. Um, Mike Gary hanging out. Pizza pies, calzones, and Geary. Just loving fat ass women. Okay, so uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> the fuck, man. <laughs> Mike Gary loving those. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, Rye, can you go to the Wikipedia entry because there are uh, there are these things that I really want to call the macaroni murders, but it's it's this whoa, it's this Marconi um, scientific death conspiracy. Are we going to enter a new time where we take the two top topics, politics and murder, and bring them together for the biggest podcast ever? We're going to be the biggest podcast that only is sponsored by companies that start with M, and we're going to. Slay Queen. Yeah, Slay Queen. Yeah. That's the new name of our show. <laughs> it's the Slay Queens. Yeah. And it'll just be you and me in blackface on yeah. the cover. <laughs> and then you got to be drag, bro. Yeah, right. And you got to be drag, and you got to box women. That's how this is going to go now, Oh, dude. we wanted to talk about that, too, yeah. but I can well, let's see. Let's get into the, let's I can get into the macaroni killing. I can see Ryan killing. on the, the, the profile picture for the podcast, and he's just a massive trans woman. Yeah, that's Because he's it. so big. His shoulders are so broad. Yeah, and he's we just do, like, I'm every woman. We have to it's get. It's all in me. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> we have to get a camera on Ryan. He's he's very disheveled Benjamin McKenzie right now. Yeah, dude. Um, Did not care today. No, it's because my bathroom's getting redone, so I have to go shower at the gym. So and I forgot any hair products, so I'm just rolling in. I think you look handsome. I mean, even even disheveled. Yeah, you are what they we call good looking homeless right now. GLH. All right, let's talk about GEC. So GEC uh, Macaroni. Um, this was a company that was the. Military Development Technology Wing of Whoa. General Electric. Whoa. Um, and it's this crazy thing where it's like, 
what do can companies not just stay in their lane? Like what, what why do you have to make Yeah. Why do you have to start experimenting yeah. with ballistics? Why and, do you gotta be Metal World Peace design the rap, right? Just stay on the court. Okay, Laura Ingram. I mean, who are you trying to Oh, look at this? Who are you trying to clip the wings of Ron Artest? I mean, it's just <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Let that man fly. Let that man fly. So um there were some scientists working on uh, a new weapon system, Stingray torpedoes, um, and they all died in very, very bizarre ways. Uh, one guy ran his car into the side of a building, but he had a bunch of tanks of gas in the back seat. Another guy, uh, in a very Rube Goldberg way to hang yourself, attached his neck to a tree and then got in his car and then drove as fast as he could and then decapitated. Whoa, that is crazy. Yep. And the, and there goes California gold, but, <laughs> but it's, it's a good reason for it because that is crazy. That is the craziest thing ever. Yeah. There's another guy who I think was poisoned. So anyways, all th there were these, do you think he had a seatbelt in? So that way he couldn't be pulled back? Oh, you go this way, rope goes, th probably. Yeah. Because if you don't have your seatbelt, you'll just be pulled back. Right, yeah, exactly. Because then somebody will be like, ah, and then he just goes. Yeah, if you if you tie a rope around your neck and then tie it to a tree and then slam the gas at 60 miles an hour and then get jerked back, if you don't have your seatbelt on, you're going to be fine. Yeah, you're, you'll be all right. right. You'll be all right. <laughs> you'll you'll be, have a little neck cramp, right. but you'll be fine. Literally just you'll a be, cramp. You'll, you have to walk it off. Walk it off. You go, oh, I got to, you go walk into the office, you're like, what happened to your neck? You know what I hear about it. Hank, I was just lifting up. And a, then you see your high school gym coach. He's like, drink some water, walk it off. Yeah, exactly. And that's why we need high school gym coaches, <laughs> because they deliver simple, effective ways to do things. So anyways, this company was working on these munitions, but they were also working on this thing called Cobra Mist, which was a new way to conduct radar uh, when we were fighting against the Soviets, I guess. So you would shoot up this radar, and it would come down. I don't know how radar... Hold on, hold on. What do you mean, shooting up literal mist? No, it, the, it was called Cobra Mist because there was this big um, ray of... Um, th this big bomb of frequency that went out. Okay. And then it would come back down, and then depending on what it beamed off of once it hit the ground you would be able to geolocate oh okay baddies. that's crazy yeah so the thing about this though is that it had a lot of chernobyl like radiation effects yes can you type in cobra mist and just show the um there's a picture of the ground around the satellite so it's this pyramid like satellite that shoots off this thing um Go to the Wikipedia for it, right? Oh, that's, yeah, that's it. Perfect. So you can see the the little ley lines of radiation yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So there was this, I guess this private security, uh, cons security consulting company called SRI that um, came in to take a look at this project and they said within hours, shut the entire thing down. Now, nobody knows what they knew or why they were so freaked out, freaked out. But the scientists that were working on this and the munitions that they were going to use based off of the information that the Cobra mist would give them, put nooses around their neck and jumped in their cars. How and many? Just drove, <clears throat> I think multiple, but three we know of. Dang. Um, <clears throat> so crazy stuff. I don't know. That if, is nuts. I don't know if you have any takes on what this might be. Well, you know, again, this is what we get into where they start to eliminate loose ends. Uh, the, could there be lawsuits or could this be technology that they don't want anyone getting out? Yeah. And they want to keep it to themselves. Yeah. So they off these people. It happens all the time, dude. All the people time. People want to leave programs like you can't leave. You know, you, what's, oh, that, yeah. what's the famous uh, uh, doc series on Netflix where they basically chucked the guy out of the window? He died to, to um, what was that? It was on, it was like a Netflix series. It's about a famous conspiracy about scientists. Are you talking about? No, I don't know. <laughs> that was the, yeah. I mean, Hogwoods or something like that. Some weird, 
I don't even know the name of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was basically they threw it out and uh, why did they throw him out? What was he? Because he had lo- he had he knew too much. Yeah. So they 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 get rid of loose ends. You don't want to know too much. In you life. don't. Is it wormwood? Wormwood. Wormwood. Yeah. What did I say? Hogwood. That's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. That wasn't that animal that wood. Bad at all. Can you go to the Wikipedia so I can uh, read what this thing is about? Wormwood. Okay. So wormwood, which is famously the psychoactive ingredient in absinthe. Oh, really? Yeah. If you drink too much absinthe, you get fucked up on wormwood. Um. Top secret government biological warfare program. Uh, caused by a mental breakdown brought on after being knowingly dosed with LSD. Okay, so it's just an MK Ultra thing. Hold on. The series is the life of scientist Frank Olson, who worked for a secret government bio warfare program. This is exactly what we were just talking about. Yeah. U.S. Army. Man, did I pull that out of nowhere? Did I just go, Kobe? <laughs> yeah. Gosh. You know, I saw the most awful video the other day. These guys are on a golf course, and he's, the, he's lining up for a shot, and he's like, what would Kobe do? And the guy's pretty drunk, and he goes, he'd probably just fly into those fucking mountains right there and die. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. I mean, he's not off. I mean, he's not off, but I mean, you know, I mean, let's leave Kobe alone. I mean, let's, I do. I, I've, I've learned to appreciate Kobe now more than when he played because I was always a Shaq guy and I just hated it. But if you listen to the people who played the game, they all talk about Kobe was had a different gear. Apex Predator. Apex Predator, which is a nice way of saying an asshole. Oh, yeah. Right? It's like, that coach is old school. That means he's an asshole. Yeah. Well, the greats are assholes. They don't have patience for people who aren't great. That's why Kobe didn't have patience for Shaq. A lot of people say that's why Brian Callen quit the show. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so um, this, yeah, this shit happens. And I don't know why the government has to pollute. Well, it's just loose ends, dude. Why do you have to pollute the beauty of LSD, though? Yeah, I mean, why, why? Why not just do shrooms? Why do we even need LSD? Yeah. Why do we need a synthetic form of what aliens or God or angels or Nephilim or Preach. whatever they gave us? Preach, brother. Uh, I, I don't understand. Shrooms are enough. Kick open the doors of perception. There we go, dude. But you don't need to use it to 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 make a bunch of Manchurian candidates that kill people in I Topanga agree. Canyon. I mean, what I the agree, fuck dude. is the point of that? What is it's the fucking point of that? Dude. Uh, okay, so next story. That was a great. By the way, thank you, dude. Thanks for sending that in. Thank. May 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 the fat ass bitches bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gary. Uh, <laughs> what's the next tab after this? This is this SRI this is company. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this was sent in. Can you go back to that? Yeah, this is interesting. I've seen this. Have you seen this? But super. I forget how it goes, but I forget what the. This blew my dick off. So, um, oh, dude, I didn't know where that was going. It sounded like a good story at first. No, it is a good story. Um, here, Ryan, don't worry about it. Just play the uh, video. Just play the video. Yeah, play the video, and we all look up who sent it. I think it is a cool name. Um, yeah, so six. Minus all of the numbers on a clock, it adds up to six. Well, here's why. Six is the Hold number on. of times. Can we go back to that? Why do you say 11 and 5 equals six? 11 minus 5. Oh, 11 you minus idiot. 5. idiot. Jesus Christ. No, man. you, hey, dude, do not take the Lord's name in vain here. <laughs> do not. It represents the three dimensional material world up, down, left, right, backwards, and forward. It's a six sided cube. Oh, 60 yeah. minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute, 24 hours in a day, two plus four equals six. That's six, six, six in total. This is why you see black cubes everywhere you go, or the Nintendo GameCube. Jesus Cross is a cube unfolded. Jews wear a cube on top of their heads. And there's a reason why we say think outside the box. This is where it gets a bit crazy. Six, six, six is the exact same structure of carbon, and your body's made out of carbon. The body is the mark of the beast, the mark of the three-dimensional 
material world. When the Bible says Satan, who's the god of this world, it represents Saturn, which is the god of time. Everything dies in time, therefore time is the god of this world. It rules this world. Everything physical began as a thought in the mind. The physical world is a shadow or an effect of thought. Therefore, your physical body is stuck in time, but your mind is outside of time. This is why your mind can go in the past and the future, but your body cannot. Thinking outside the box is a term referring to thinking outside of the physical plane, which is activating the light bodies, the eternal self, also known as astral projection. What I'm saying is your body is nothing. You are not your body. You are the eternal consciousness, which is not bound by the physical plane. You just have to awaken these other bodies. Do you hear that, OnlyFans? Do you hear that? I mean... What, do you hear that? We have to go whatever about this whole thing. I mean, why do we have to turn into whatever? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. I, dude, I've been, I've been talked about that forever, dude. Uh, this is really wild, and that was sent in by Dooves. I love that. Dooves. That, that so was a great bit. I've that. only seen the beginning of that. I didn't see the whole thing, but yeah, man. It's, I mean. We are not. That, that, num that whole video makes me believe that God created assimilation more and more. The numbers all match up. It is so wild to think about uh, the God of time, time being the God Kronos. of this world. It's really, really beautiful to think about how you you it's so crazy your mind cannot go into the or your body cannot go into the past or the future only your mind can which is a, a, a beautiful way of saying we're not humans on a spiritual journey we're spirits on a human journey 100 percent, dude that i couldn't agree more so uh is 666 all that bad um I mean, go ahead and worship the devil real quick. I don't Sam. worship the devil. I uh, Jesus is my savior, dog. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jesus, but is is six 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 that bad? It's just the god of this world. I mean, Kronos is most likely Baal and Moloch as well. Mm -hmm. So we misunderstood deities that the Knights of the Templar. Um, uh, I don't know if we're like there. I mean, literally. It, there's talk about Moloch in the Bible being, and I got that wrong on a podcast. Moloch is mentioned in the Bible. Yeah. My apologies. Yeah. And uh, they, that is that is the dark, 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 dark entity. Yeah. And that you're, you're, his tribe got lo got a little loosey goosey with, and that's why uh, <sighs> Moses came and dropped the hammer. <laughs> Am I right? Come uh, on. I think that's uh, wrong. Loosey goosey over here worshiping the golden calf. Yeah, I mean, yeah, which is golden calf, Ryan. Where else do we see that outside? Wall Street, right? The bull, the bull outside is golden calf. Bang, there we go, bang, bang, bang ride pop. the moped to truth. Bang, bang, ride bang. the moped all the way to truth town. <laughs> You'll get there on one tank of gas. Um, we uh, just to let you guys know, we broke down the Olympics. I know you guys wanted us to talk about the Olympics. We recorded the Thursday before the Olympics happened. Yeah. Um, we broke down the whole thing at patreoncom slash aka Deep Waters. Uh, listen, uh, there's a lot of Hinduism in that opening scene. And there's a lot of people are trying to say that final scene isn't, um, the last supper, but a, a Greek yeah, it's a mythology different, it's a different until the, the fat Jewish lesbian said that it is the, uh, the, the last supper. She literally came out and go, yeah, we were mocking the last supper. Can I ask you to do something really quickly? No. Nope. Can, can you, I know what you ask. What am I going to ask? Not to say what? Yeah, I mean, can you just <laughs> peel back a little bit on the J talk? I love the episode? J's. I sleep with a J every night. Yeah. Every night I sleep it's with just a J. a lot of, lot I of love J the J stuff tonight. Rye? How about the undersack? Oh, yeah, yeah dude. So the ball sack? The undersack. Near, near the very young-looking chick? So let's talk Long about- Long balls over there? The undersack. We talked about that. Yeah, we talked about that. Um, You can get a patreon.com slash ours, but- um. There's no way, as a man, just to any of the female, to the four female listeners we have. Yeah. Um, if you're confused about this at all, don't be. Men know when their testicles are uh, suffering from exposure. Um, yeah. It's not a common thing that you feel as a man. Um, yeah. And when your balls are exposed to the elements, you know within a millisecond. Yeah. That man had his testicles hanging out for the world to see knowingly. And yeah. I think that that's uh, inappropriate and also kind of cool. 
Well, you know, if you're blessed with long balls, the question is how many... Well, long balls are not a blessing. You can shit on long balls. That's not Why, a blessing. do you shit on your long balls? No, I don't shit on my long balls. I have balls. very high and tight balls to the point I don't even know how I was able to produce children. Yeah, well, I'm going to need a... Uh, a te- uh, what is it called? Uh, a my sack. balls look more like a sand dune than a, a actual balls. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I'm going to need a sack tuck probably at 50 uh, because I will be in danger of shitting on them. And, and I would that there's nothing that I would make <laughs> that would make me throw up more than shitting on my own balls. Well, you don't. You sh- have to wipe your own balls you after that. If you shit on them, you absolutely have to wipe them. Wow, because, yeah. that's a curse. Having I, I always thought like, why isn't there like a ball sack bra? Yeah, I mean, they're they're aren't that isn't that a jock strap? You just wear undersized Calvin Kleins is a way to to go about that. But you don't shed on your balls directly. We've talked about this before. Uh, when I, I feel like I would know that. No, okay. So let's say you're and sorry for all the potty humor today, but you're sitting well, I'm down. All for it. You're sitting down on a toilet, right? Yeah. Let's say you're leaning forward a little bit. You have a canted angle to the back of the bowl. You have kind of a a, a bird shot VM. Right, so it really flies out, hits the back of the bowl. Splatter? Now, what happens is the force will ricochet back to the back, uh, oh. the, the dark side of the moon, yeah. right? And that's how you shit on your balls. Okay. Yeah. Bum, uh, bum, bum. Now, now PSA, you know. PSA over. The um, more you know. Okay, so let's end with this. Um, this is so wild and sh- should just be a cautionary tale. I don't know why anyone is on social media. I think it's bad. I think people should just read books. Yeah, and but talk we already watched this. No, we didn't watch this. I swear we already watched this. No, we didn't, dude. Okay. But go on. I'm pretty sure we no, watched it. No, you know it. what? Don't play it. Don't play it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we watched that. We didn't watch this. Yeah, she basically, we, we talked about how... Her and her boyfriend have different... I mean, I've watched this video on other things, but I specifically remember us discussing this. No, we didn't. But anyways, we don't have to play the video. What the what the video demonstrates is that this woman pulls up her video, a video of on TikTok on her phone. Yes. Her bro, her boyfriend pulls up the, the same video. The video is about the girl at the top. Her boyfriend is supposed to be showing up Cause he's golfing. Yeah, she she is she is a psychopath and is TikToking everything. So every hour that passes, or every couple hours, she's not she, a psychopath. She's just doing a, like a joke. Yeah, well, we don't we don't need not everything a, on the internet. Yeah, it's not okay? a psychopath. You don't need the snitch on your boyfriend. Okay, but she's she's documenting how late he is and the fact that he hasn't called because women are psychos, right? They they don't understand, hey, let's just keep this to ourselves. Yeah, Everything has to be discussed. It's kind of a okay? broad brush. So, We've got so, a sample size issue. So, uh, so, so this woman is talking about how she watched it. She sent the link to her, her boyfriend, and then she looked at her comments, and there was one set of comments, and then she looked at the her boyfriend's comments, and none of her comments shown up on his comments. So these are top comments. These should be the top comments yeah. for everybody, but yeah. they're not the top comments for everybody because what these social media companies do is they now weaponize the comments against yes. us. Yes, they, okay. are, they are manifesting a reality. Yes. Which so, is why you still see people walking around with masks on. Right. Right. right, because their algorithm is telling them, "Hey, man, it's getting bad out there. Mask up." And they're like, "I got, and they're always Asian. I don't know why. Always Asians love masks. They're not always Asian, but <laughs> Asians do love masks. <laughs> they do love masks. So this is this is what we're getting into. Why we'll never be able to to communicate properly. With yeah, one again, another. we're never because none of us have the same." Data. You look at so you, you you expand this out to political stuff, and that's where it gets really dangerous. So you'll be seeing one thing, one event that happened in the political sphere, and based on the kind of person you are, which your phone knows intimately yeah. well, you will be fed. I just I knew that they were weaponizing the algorithm against us. I didn't know that they were weaponizing the democratic process of communicating 100%. around the video which gets into how how democrats see their their constituents which as riri okay they see what? him as retarded 
What are you? And I'll tell you why. Fucking talking because about? Elon Musk, <laughs> Elon Musk uh, tweeted a video which was so obvious. Uh, Camilla Harris AI. Yeah, totally. And it was so obvious because she was just saying the most ridiculous things in it. And, and Gavin Newsom, who it, whatever side Gavin Newsom is on, just know the opposite is true. Very rarely will I say that, like him. No, nah, not Lincoln. true. Not true. Okay, give me an example. Well, he he's uh, he's a bad governor. Okay, um, no, he's and he was awful. A, he was a bad mayor for San Francisco. Okay, he's done some good things. Okay, he's like, done more bad things. Like what? What are the good things that he's done? Uh, lowering the price of insulin. Um, he just passed this um, mandatory homeless cleanup act in California. Okay, which right. Karen Bass is fighting against. Karen Bass now has had the Supreme Court tell her the homeless people can't be on the street. Right. Has had the governor say, I'm going to withhold the funding right. from L.A. if homeless people are on the street. And she still yeah. is fighting. Hey, K-Bass, no one K-Bass. wants this. K-Bass. No one wants this. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Just keep it's, voting know, for DI, everybody. I don't everybody. know why you are fighting against this, okay? Yeah. I it's mean, just bad politics. Well, it's also like, like we don't want them just rounded up. We would like to have an idea of where you want to put these people. Nobody wants to be humane about it. We just want actions taken. Go to Skid Row and build up, okay? No, take all these. Find an area that is just industrial, not residential. City of industry. And just load them up. So anyways, to end that thing, Gavin Newsom's talking about trying to pass a law which states you can't you can't put out AI videos that make it seem like somebody else is saying something well we do probably have to control that no a we bit don't more. yeah we do no we yeah, don't Yeah, we absolutely nope do. lying is covered by the first amendment once you start making rules to cover things you don't like no one will come back and f you in the b yeah, the, the, the Democrats are going to be ruined by not being able to post uh, AI videos of Biden saying, I'm gay. By far, by far. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just going to destroy the is, party. You know who's getting just wrecked by AI voices? Joe Rogan. I, I, every, oh, yeah. Every ad is like, hi, I'm Joe Rogan. Let me tell you about I don't know. Box. I don't know how you don't think that that's a problem. Um, well, because what, when you, what, what, and for the CEO of one of the mag cap stocks, who's giving money to the president or to tr- the presidential candidate to be posting AI memes about the yeah, other dude, candidate. It's just where like, do we go? Ugh. where do we go? Par- I don't know. It's parody, where we go, dude. It's, it's parody. Up. It's parody. And we sh- you should be able to parody, do parody of the presidential nominee who is, oh, by the way, isn't even the nominee. She's just selected. Okay, they're not allowed to vote on it. No, they won't at the at the convention. And won't. who they got, dude? You okay, guys? Let's wrap it up. Get in the Great comments. Show today. Let Get us the know comments. who you're voting Get for. Get in the comments. Let us who did nine eleven? Who uh, is dad? Who is mom? Yeah. Ryan on the show. All that vote stuff. Vote now. Vote often. SamTripoli.com for dates. At Dylan Pete Wren on Instagram. Uh, Patreon. Guys, get on the Patreon. Get on the Patreon. Do you want to? Dude, we're just hanging. We're just banging. Uh, we're on the banging. Patreon. We're hanging. We're, we're hanging, only we're taking ad money from companies that start with M. So if you want to help the show, keep the show going. It would yeah. mean the world to yeah. us. Go to patreoncom yeah. slash AK di- McDonald's, McCormick's, yeah. Magic Mind, yeah. Mint Mobile. Yeah. There are a lot out there, but we really are Magic kind of- Mountain. Six Flags Magic Mountain. That counts, okay? That so you can counts. see that this is very difficult for us. So if you'd like to support us, go to patreon.com slash aka deepwaters. Donate a little or a little more. Like the video. Subscribe. Tell like your it, friends. Like tell your family. It, like it, like Love it. you all. We'll see you next week. Love you guys. Welcome to Deep Water. Where are you going right now? They crank the 5G up, and then we just all get shaken and bacon microwave. I love it. I didn't say that, you absolute moron. (laughs) There is no dinosaurs. Those are Nephilim giants from the Bible. And Lucifer is in the Vatican? Yes. Oh, okay, got it. I think space is probably like just a giant liquid. Build it up, seal the well. When it's about to collapse, release the gaze. Are you going to get the jab? Never. Conspiracy Social Club, aka Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters.